Taylor tried to get in your head that week. Did he? At the moment, I thought he didn't, you know, but you never know. I mean, he might, might have worked to his advantage. He did what he had to do to get into Jose's head, which worked, and I think that's where the mistakes were made. <laughs> Have you watched your fight with Josh Taylor? Once. What stands out? Oh! And opening up this sixth round, Josh Taylor scores the knockdown! I think I lost the fight because of my mistakes. Nice catch and shot. Right cut, puts it down! What a shot! That was a rookie mistake. Yeah, I'm a veteran fighter. Yep. I put my hands down when, uh, when I thought it was going to be a break, and, and he landed an uppercut, you know, and that's a clear mistake that I did. Ramirez's pride was definitely tarnished tonight by Taylor. You know, when I got home, I was embarrassed to go out. I wasn't like one of those guys that might be happy because they, you know, financially they did well. Or it was a huge opportunity, and I felt like I blew it. How were you coping with defeat? It took me a while to really accept it. I would sleep in and wake up. Uh, and by that time, I remember I already taken my son to school. And I'll go pick him up and, and go back home and just stay, stay at home. My son, he's, he's old enough to ask questions. Dad, uh, are you still a champion? It was difficult, you know, to, to answer to my son because I'm a very prideful father and I never wanted to see my son grow up and see his father lose. But you know, um, maybe I needed this loss. Maybe I needed to go through this to become better and fix some of the mistakes that maybe when you win and you get so used to winning, you never fix. I hate to lose. When we lose a fight, we want to get our fighter to think differently mentally because a loss hurts. When he came to the gym, that's our job to, to change and to talk about what happened. And he agrees that he's just too nice of a person. You know, we're trying to change that, you know can be too nice. You're trying to get his animal out of him. That's what he needs. And our job is to, to work with him mentally because he does need a lot of that. But we have to be on top of him every day, every day, reminding him, reminding him. One, two, one. You could have picked an easier opponent for your first fight back than Jose Pedraza. Why him? I want to earn my position. So I want to earn it by facing the best. And he's doing very well. I mean, he's top undefeated fighter, Julian Rodriguez. He beat the other fighters, and he's top ranked for some of the belts. You want your belts back at 140 before you go to 47? Yes, I want, I want to become a world champion. I want to move to 147 as a world champion. I fight whoever I need to fight to get one belt, just one, and go after Taylor. I want to fight Taylor one more time before I retire. Champ, I've never seen you like this. I'm, this bothers you. I don't want to show no mercy for anybody in the ring. This is, this is boxing. 